Hello and welcome to another quick tutorial where I explain how to achieve the look of these tail lamps that are fading out to the borders and create the look that they are actually illuminating um, while being an OpenGL. So there are two things necessary. So one is the um, tone mapping. I'm using a physical camera with an um, ASUS One sensor response and compared to the default Reinhardt luminance, that tone mapper tries to crop the wide range of colors and intensity values into an sRGB space. The second thing that is um, needed is a texture, black and white uh, texture that fade out to the borders. And how to create that I will um, explain you. So the texture itself um, looks like this in the UV editor. So as you can see, basically a black and white texture with um, some yeah, blur at the borders and some uh, noise in there to create the look of that milky frosted glass. So let's assume we don't have a texture and um, we want to create that from, from scratch. So I have to select um, all the objects that I want to use the texture for. So let's quickly hide um, the outer class. And then there is another class in front of that model. And this now is actually the geomet geometry we want to use. And in the UV editor, um, I have created the layout already, um, but you can simply do that in the material UV set by pressing unfold and layout. Um, that's pretty easy for that one because it's a single-sided surfaces. It's a little bit more um, difficult with um, solid objects because you have to split them up first that they unfold um, properly. But um, this is actually what we use as an input for our texture. Um, you can also line up the individual islands um, to your needs depending on what kind of layout you want to create in Photoshop. So as an underlying layer in Photoshop, um, I'm using um, the solid shading mode that can be activated here and I disable the wireframe and also the grid in the background and then I can export that as a UV snapshot with the default values. We can change the texture size um, at any time. So let's save that on my desktop and go to Photoshop and open this texture. All right, now I can um, use the magic wand tool to um, select the borders, make a new layer and colorize the inner one it was wrong. So I have to invert it first and colorize the inner ones and then create a new layer, put them underneath and fill it with black. So um, the underlying layer I don't need anymore and those one I merge together. And put a blur filter on top of it. I'm using the Gaussian blur for it. A value of 10 pixels is fine in my case, um, but as more as I blur it, um, as more, yeah, it fades out to the borders. So 10 is fine. And on top of that, I also want to create some noise. You can play around with these values as well. I think 10 is fine for now. Gaussian or uniform doesn't matter so much, um, but be um, aware that um, a monochromatic noise is needed here because we just want to have black and white. So, and basically that's it for my texture. So I save that as well. And in Fred, we have to create a new material. Let's take a simple plastic. We don't need any diffuse or glossy color here. We just use the incandescence texture. And now let's assign the material 
to these two objects. And obvious a value of a zero is not enough. So let's try one and change the color to white, maybe a little bit darker. And then you can see that um, I also have to switch to um, the UV mapping. Okay, and this is how my um, texture now looks like. Right, and I can of course give that a, a color and play around with the intensity now to see which kind of look I, I'd like to have. And I also have activated um, the glow in my uh, camera settings. And then you can actually play around with the values uh, until you get something you are happy with, right? So let's enable the class in front of it again. And basically we're done. Thanks for watching.